Hello everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones. Um, as Lord Isaac Beesbury Pantyhold, the uh, poor, depressed and maimed uh, Lord. Now Isaac himself um, couldn't really do much. He has maneuvered um, the House Beesbury Pantyhold through some very hard times. But he is now very determined to um, get everything or do everything in his power for his son, Rui Beesbury, to have the best start. And um, we will have to bring the High Towers down. Now, the High Towers um, are currently still ruling and they have enough sons, or the, the current Lord has enough sons to actually secure his line. Um, but here's the plan. So, um, Lord Isaac is, uh, just sent his uh, Justice Sir Lara over to fabricate a claim on Norcross. Now, currently, there is no High Lord of uh, Brightwater Keep. This High Lordship does not exist uh, as of right now. The High Lordship of Brightwater does not exist. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first fabricate a claim on Norcross because these guys should be quite easily to uh, yeah, to be taken care of. They don't have a lot of men. Um, they don't have any allies. So as soon as we have this claim, we can go for Norcross and get the castle. Then, we will um, also fabricate a claim on Dunsbridge because these guys only have one ally. We should be able to crush them as well. And once we have these two castles, we'll create the High Lordship. Uh, well, we'll see if we can create this. Probably not. But then we're going to go for Brightwater Keep. And then we have these four castles that we somehow have to manage to hold on to. And then we're going to declare our independence uh, from these guys and create the High Lordship of Brightwater Keep. And then we'll see uh, where we go from there. But that is currently the plan. Uh, we'll start with Norcross. And, um, yeah, we have to bring down the high towers, and this seems to be the only way. We have got some, uh, cool allies over here, uh, Ben Dallans and these two guys. Uh, they seem to like us more than, uh, especially this guy likes us way more than his father, because he doesn't actually have a claim on our stuff. So that's very good. Um, so neither of these two guys has a claim on Honeyhold, so we're basically safe. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get started. Also, I've been looking at a wife for, um... Rui, and I found the perfect one, I think. Well, she's not perfect, but she's the best I found. Uh, her name's Elise. She's a lowborn Sand Dornish woman, but she's a genius. Now, her traits are not particularly good, but that doesn't matter. She has a genius trait, which is inheritable, so hopefully we're going to create a genius son. But her stats are rather good, especially her intrigue stat is not is, is really rather good. So um, we get half of these stats added to our... Um, to our state diplomacy or state um, stats. So yeah, it's probably quite good. She's better than this woman right now, and Lady Elise is already quite good. Her learning is not as good, her intrigue is slightly worse, but uh, these three stats are better. So yeah, um, Lady Elise, will you marry Rui? Now he's gonna uh, take a penalty for marrying her, a prestige hit, but that's fine. Um, we couldn't really, I, I've looked around if there's any claims that we could potentially get. Um, by marrying off, but yeah, th this didn't really work, so yeah, whatever. No one's there to pay it, so that's fine, I guess. Uh, we didn't get any money, but yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. So we have Rui Beesbury over here. Very nice. A young artist is working. Gain diplomacy for nine gold. Um, I pray for guidance. I'm depressed. I guess, I guess we would do that. Yeah, I guess. I guess uh, we're depressed, so we pray. We're not zealous, but we're not cynical either. So, yeah, I guess you could uh, you could imagine that we would pray. Now we have 90 gold. We could potentially build something like private farms. <laughs> no, this would actually upgrade private farms to small states. A new Simon Hope, a black brother, riding a dragon, Bloodfire. Interesting. Wow. Well, that's gonna take care of the White Walkers. And Ali Hightower has died. Ah, oh, poor thing. I don't care at all. Let them all die, for all I care. Now, uh, hopefully soon enough we're gonna have enough prestige to revoke yet another thing. The good thing is, um, we can try to uh, revoke as many provinces as possible as uh, Lord Isaac. Because if people are mad at us, that doesn't matter because we, uh, we're gonna take over as another guy soon enough. Probably. Yeah, rather soon, sooner rather than later because we're gonna die. But yeah, so that's good. How is Branston turning out? He's still a trained fighter, but that's that's all right. I mean, a trained fighter, he's gonna be Castellan anyway. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be good. I wonder what um, he's gonna get. Um, another war has 
broken out. Vera, she's the rider of Starwing. Okay, the old king's, um, or the, the former king's uh, dragon, actually. But it seems like uh, the lords are not... Yeah, okay, so she actually managed to get the support of the Riverlands and the Stormlands. Okay, now she's not going to win, probably. But... The re because reach of the uh, the reach and the Westerlands, but I mean the, the Riverlands are quite powerful, and the Ironborn. The, who are the Ironborn fighting? I think they're staying out of this. No, they're defending. Wait, what? The Ironborn are. No, the Ironborn are staying out of it. There's just one guy who's defending. It seems like yeah. Okay, so the Riverlands and the Stormlands. Now, this is actually interesting. So, for for all this time, nothing actually interesting happened. But now, indeed, we have some interesting stuff. And we're losing 30... What are we paying for? Our liege. Liege tax. We're paying him tax. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So, we're paying tax because we have... We hold the city. Ah, so we have to pay taxes to our liege. I see. He does not have any fuel tax, so it doesn't actually help us that much having this. Hmm. Perhaps that was not the smartest move to do then. And he wants to kill somebody. Stop it. Just stop it, Dennis Chelstead. Come on. Angela. Stop killing. Trying to kill people. You're not killing them. You know what? I think we're better off if we give this out to someone. And, um. I actually don't know. Maybe this guy? No, I can't. He's our friend. Who could we give this to? Our brother. He could get the city. But he's our castellan. We would need a new castellan. Do we have somebody who can pick? Um, Dennis could be our castellan. He would be happy about this. Um, he would like to become regent. Um, grant him the city of Farheef. He would be happy. He would probably pay us quite a lot of dough. Um, should we do that? Should we give him? Should we give our brother the? Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna pick uh, Dennis Chelstead as uh, as the uh, guy again. As uh, Castellan. Alright, give this out to my brother. Alright, there you go. You're gonna be... Yeah, so you have the city. He likes me quite a bit. Air educated with foreign culture. Well, that's fine, I guess. Um, I could send him a gift as well. Don't think I need to. Let's see how much money we're making now. Because we, we don't have to pay any tax anymore. I think, but we get less income as well, so we'll see. We'll see how it changes. We still have to pay taxes. Does he only? Oh, our leash does have feudal tax, doesn't he? Small feudal taxes. What do we have? Small as well. Can we change that? Don't know. Okay, so that was actually not what that actually did not work out. So, but we're not really losing more. Okay, we're not really losing much anyway. Hmm. Okay, well, that was not really the best idea. Huh, whatever. Uh, we still have him as Castellan, though. Hmm, okay, I didn't. I don't really know what I just did, but oh well. And his wife died. But I'm his. Oh, but I'm his heir now. Okay, so that, never mind. Actually, this is fine. Because I will inherit the city. Good. I like that. I like that, actually. So, it's good if he doesn't marry. That's fine. Small city taxes. Yeah. We can't change this uh, for another four years. And I think then we're going to go for... Um, we already have feudal, large feudal levies. Um, city levies. Now that's gonna be stupid. Church taxation. And Hagan Hornsby has died. 
But that's fine, he's done his duty, he's, he got us the good courier. So how's Rui turned out? Oh yes, he became a f uh, brilliant commander, look at that, a flanker, inspiring leader and direct leader. Leading from the center. Wow, he's just so good. Well, he's, he's an odd thing. He's good at flanker and leading the center. He, no, no matter which flank he leads, he's just gonna be awesome. Lovely, I like it. Now we just need to claim on Norcross. And this guy has actually died. He was kind of important. He was our guardian. He was our son's guardian uh, for quite a while. But uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. He's dead now. Lovely. Okay, so how is his prestige doing? Um, Rui, how, how's your prestige? Still uh, quite bad. But formidable fighter, brilliant commander gives you tons of prestige. And, okay. So, a new Reach guy, and this is a Massey, he's a Stormlander, well you're not gonna stay Limited Realm Authority, nope. You're not gonna stay in power for long, I can tell you that much. You can hold a tournament, um, but I don't think I will. No. We will instead, can we build something? Private, uh, tax income and gain 100 light infantry. Um, or gain extra gold. No, we're gonna wait for the castle town. We want the extra gold. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna wait until we have 150 gold. Alright. And unlanded sons, Rui Beesbury is not, is not landed. Well, tough shit, man. How, how am I supposed to give you land? I only have this one holding. This guy's actually... Okay, so the Reach is not even in a war. Oh, oh, this could actually get difficult. Look at that. The Reach have left the war with the death of uh, the last Lady Paramount. So now, King Damon's still winning by 66%, but he only has the support of the Westerlands now. And Della Bigglestone has arrived in my court. Uh, okay. Why do I care? Alright, fine. Barbara's justice has brought peace to a troubled province. Few crimes are committed. Well, that's good. Well, that's justice. And how many men does this guy have? He has still 20,000 men. How many men does the king have? Uh, wait, what? 129,000? Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, he has the entire northern troops. Oh, come on. Why is that always... <sighs> this is not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> um, Lower Crown Authority in the Iron Throne faction. How can he do that while he's not even under that guy? What's this kind of war? Orkment. Oh, those are raiders. Raiding uh, everywhere, basically. Oh, that's fine. Um, how much has... 150, I think, is what we're waiting for. Yeah, we're making quite some... Yeah, we're making more money now. Interesting. I wonder why this is. But we are anyway, so that's good for us. Okay, how many men do we have? Only 700. Okay, I think we can now go to train troops because our firstborn son is already a formidable fighter, so we can't get any better than that. And uh, Branston is a trained fighter, but that's fine. He's being educated by a formidable fighter, so perhaps he's going to pick up on that. Um, your horrific maiming is slowly starting to heal. You no, lo no longer is your injury as painful. Instead, it is just a husk of what it once was. You have no use of that body part. Oh, no. Loser straight maimed. 75, disfigured, crippled. Okay. And uh, loses that 20 cents. Okay. Okay, but we've gained disfigured, which is not as bad. Okay, we're not even a cripple yet. So can we go on a hunt? Yes, let's go hunting. Come on. I will find the white stag, of course. We're still depressed. Hopefully that depression will go away at some point. Just look at our son. Be proud. Don't be depressed. Rui Beesbury. That's what you made, Isaac. You've created it. Um, Prince William is boasting about how much better a hunter he is compared to you just because he killed a large in his own. Be gone from my hunt. Um, is he though? He probably is. He has more martial. Um, be gone from my hunt. No, I don't want to piss him off. It's fine. 
Yeah. I'm quite happy that he joined my court because uh, his dragon will probably be quite useful in the uh, coming battles. And we gain 5 prestige. Indeed, that's quite nice. We could revoke some more titles, but I think I don't want to do this anymore. Okay, we gain another prestige. Hold a tournament. Nope, not interested. Wonder why nobody's inviting us to a tournament now. Oh, I think because I said I I don't want to be bothered with it anymore. Yeah, that's probably it. So we're never going to be a knight. However, this guy is also not knight. He's still a squire. Hmm. Yeah, his uh, diplomacy could be better, but it's it's not bad. The craven is really the only thing that that actually bugs me. Yeah, but Mary to a genius. He is quick, attractive. Formidable fight. Oh, I just like I just like looking at this character. So amazing. Alright, yeah, we're making some decent cash now. I'm very happy actually. Anything else we can do? Other than commit suicide? Oh, what's this? Um I had some will be Oh Samuel Blackmont is the rival of my son. Claim to be constantly subject to a front. Okay. Well, Disallow it. He will fight my son. You know what? I think my son will win. So yeah, I will allow the duel. But he uh, refused it, I think. I think, yeah. He ran away. The craven he is. Which is unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Because he would have won. Pretty sure. 15.5 dual skill. Uh, yeah, that guy is just a poor fighter. But my son's a craven. It just it just makes no sense that this guy. How can this character possibly be a craven? But oh well, I guess he uh, is considered a craven then. Okay, this speed is just too quickly or too fast. Too fast, not too quickly. All right, come on, one more month and then I'll have enough money to build uh, or to start building. Um, Castle Tower will give us extra money. Something we need so desperately. Improve the castle for 4,000 gold. Ah, that does not seem likely, actually. Alright. Castle town it is. So I wonder how much more money we'll actually make uh, once we build the castle town. Really not sure. How's the war going uh, against the Um. Okay, he's lost a couple. Of war score, not that much, but he lost six war score, so yeah. The reach being away definitely hurts this guy, but he's still okay. Well, he actually lost 60,000 men, that's quite a lot, it's quite a lot indeed. Okay, we had a peasant uprising here in the reach, but that's over now. Not really a big surprise. Two weak claims. Alright, let's see what we can do. Uh, Corliss is unfortunately Liege Loyalist. Hmm, kind of annoying. Still don't have these claims. Please get a claim on Norcross. I should have taken the claim on Bratwater Keep, um, but... Oh well. And if Septon has died, well, that happens, I guess. This guy, Lord Ares. Yeah, he has just too many allies. It's just a problem, really. Look at this guy. He wants to have a daughter. <clears throat> Why? If you could have it, you could have a son. But he apparently gained some prestige. Yeah, he must have. I don't know what he did, but he must have gained some prestige. Yeah. Rest is excommunication. No. Branston is my friend. Oh, so, uh, wait, it's his friend. Okay, one of his, one of my sons is his friend, the other one's his rival. Oh well. Okay. So we're almost done building the castle town. Yeah, we're making some decent money again. Lovely. And I guess I could declare a war now, we can't. Jared Biggleston. Could make him cupbearer. Um, yeah, just in your plot. Check out the minor titles. The cupbearer. We're gonna make 
a Mr. Capera. No. Yeah, one of our. Yeah, one of uh, this guy. Okay. One of our bodyguards is also Capera. I think that makes sense. But I could have made my son Capera to gain prestige. I think he would have gained prestige from that. Oh well. Oh, I should have done that. I could do. I should, should I just uh, commit suicide? No, we're gonna go on a grand hunt. Grand hunt. Alright, and apparently the war has ended. Yes. And uh, King Damien has won. Married to a Stark. Queen Rovena. Alright. Princess Reyna. Hmm, interesting. Oh well. So the war's over. Good, good. We are hunting again. The White Stag. On the hunt, you got separated from the party in the wilderness. As you are roaming around and trying to find your bearings, you glimpse something strange in distance. You ride close and see a majestic great white stag. Oh my god! As you cautiously approach, it sees you and runs away. You try to follow but are unable to catch up in the difficult terrain. As you get back to your party, you find you can't stop thinking about the strange. Uh, I must send out people to find it. Yes! Ah, the White Stag, come on! I was, I've been told we can find the White Stag. I've never done it, but it would be so cool. Look at our wife. Damn, she's old. Oh, she's 50 already. Gee. Yeah, she is old. The Grand Hunt is over. Okay. So we did not find the White Stag. Then. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Oh, well. Not that bad, I guess. So, who's next in line here? Tanya Beesbury Malos Maribald. Tanya, four-year-old. Hmm. Okay. And uh, Allison, Melissa Weber. We could marry Melissa Weber. Um. Yeah, we could marry Melissa Weber to Branston. Um, Beesbury, perhaps. Hmm. Can't even do that. That's odd. Why can I not do that? I just want to keep these um, castles in the family, you know. It's quite important. Right, so almost uh, done building Castle Town. Hopefully that actually helps us uh, a lot with our money. Even 10 cents per month would actually help quite a bit. So let's see. This will be built, this will be finished. Um. Oh, 29th of December. Okay. Let's stick around then. And my daughter Jenna has not yet married. She could marry the Lord Paramount of the Stormlands. Or Mervyn of Three Towers. Humphrey of Hornwell. Yes! Marry the Lord Paramount. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's awesome. Lord Paramount of the River. Oh, wait, Storm. Atulli's Stormlands? The heck? Look at that. My daughter is married. Okay, customary dowry 25. That's fine, we'll pay that though. And uh, Castle Town has been built, so let's see how much more money we actually get. So yeah, we've just gained tons and tons of prestige. It's amazing. Okay. So is that now our ally? He is. Well, oh, that's River Run. He isn't actually our ally. Why is he not our ally, though? Wait, did he just... Who, what happened? He usurped both of these titles. He just usurped the title from the guy we married off. To our daughter. Oh, come on. Really? Uh, okay, so he's now only Lord of Fountain. He <laughs> wow, great. He was the Lord Paramount of the Stormlands. Okay. And uh, my commander has died. So we can now pick a new one. And a new bodyguard as well. Um, well, as bodyguard, we're obviously going to pick our son. And uh, also as commander. Well, as commander, 
Um, I'd actually like to pick my son as well. Yep, there you go. So he should get more prestige now. Uh, formidable. Oh, he's a knight. My son is a knight. Nice. We're not even a knight yet. Could he knight us? That would be awesome. Um, but yeah, look at that. Oh, he won a tournament. Uh, well, he's been third place in the tournament. Okay. And um, received credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Stack. Alright, find the White Stack. Okay, so he's been third place in a tournament and he's gained some prestige for himself. He's gaining it because of his knight, bodyguard, commander. Okay, awesome. There's a man I need to arrest, another I want to assassinate. Um, plot power is probably more important if we want to do anything. I don't think we want to need to arrest anyone right now. And if so, it would be only our vassals that we can easily take care of if they rebel. So, yeah, there's no point. Um, okay. Formidable fight. Yeah, he's not getting... Okay, he's gained 10 gold, I guess, in the winning a tournament. Awesome. Yeah, we don't have enough money. I kind of want to commit suicide. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's hunt the white stag, but we're probably not going to find it. It's just uh, unlikely. Why do we have this guy? Don't need him anymore. Um, my retainers are useless. No, I think it's my own fault. I'm depressed, of course. Um... Lord, my lord, it seems that Lord Quentin has finally decided to come out of hiding. Well, can I kill him? Who would join me? Kill my rival. Nobody. Wow. This guy would be quite useful. Uh, useful, but nah, I'm fine, fine. If we don't have a chance, and there's no, there's no point in plotting, because it's just a waste of time. Um, my cousin. The silent sister. She's a lunatic. I don't think we need to know about her anymore. Um, that's us. Our brother. Sister. Liege. Wife. Lord Command of the King's Guard. Don't need him. Um, okay. Yeah, all these people are kind of important. Septon is also important. And our maester. Oh, we already have him. Hmm. Who's Hector? Oh, that's my Septon, I see. That's my uh, son's wife. I guess she's kind of important. My daughter-in-law. And then these two guys. Alright. Well, that's good. A couple of household knights are practicing the cold-blooded destry. Okay, so, um, good fight. We gain prestige. Um, or, Sir Rui's opinion, he proves of pride. Even though he is humble himself. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. Uh, I think I was just gonna say good fight. Um, but we are proud. I guess, a, I guess we could have done better. We're also depressed. Life has lost its luster to this character. I could have done better. Alright, you know what I think we're gonna do? We're gonna go on one more hunt. And that shall be our last one. Now we will commit suicide. <laughs> As Lord Isaac. He says, you know, look at this guy. He's scarred, he's disfigured. It's just, I mean, Prince Vaymont, oh, Prince Vaymont wants to kill, is he the heir there? No. Try to kill Prince Damon. I could imprison Prince Vaymont. 81%, uh, I would get all the gold. But that's also kind of stupid, we, we want him as a dragon rider, so, I guess we won't do that just now. But... We could get his gold. That would be nice. <sighs> you know what, guys? This is a roleplay, is it not? This is a roleplay. 
and a character who is scarred and disfigured. <sighs> but uh, apparently, our, our son has given birth to a strong daughter, Lemur. Um, and we have now claim on Old Town. Oh, we have a claim on Lordship of Norcross. Awesome. So we lose gold and prestige, but that's fine. Okay, well, that's very good. So we have a claim on Norcross now. Alright, anyways guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to put a cut in here, and I'll see you next time. It's Chief Drunker, signing off.